I want to just talk a, 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 just briefly more about giving up, or maybe not giving up, maybe not, maybe not giving it everything you have. I always talk about doing your exercises to failure. I always, I've given you, you know, some different exercises to do and things to work on. Um, one, the, well, there's two exercises that people typically have a lot of problems with, and one is push-ups and one is pull-ups. They're really basic exercises, and they're add squats in there, and those are probably the three most important exercises you can ever do. If I go on vacation, I find some way to do, the, and, well, okay, and crunches, all right? I find some way to do those, um, even if it's not a great workout. So let me, let me get back to that. Pull-ups. If you can't do a pull-up, and, and you've tried, you know, don't, again, don't give up. Here's what you do. The body is far more capable of doing negative resistance and positive resistance. So, get a chair, find whatever you were pulling up on, stand on the chair, get up to the fully contracted position, using the chair, no effort at all, zero, okay? Then, get rid of the chair, just move it aside or whatever, and then lower yourself slowly, wide, nice wide grip, under control, slowly lower yourself. Get back on the chair, get up and do it again. You'll find that you can do the negative resistance. You can let yourself go down. You can do the relaxation phase of it. Do a whole set like that. Keep doing it. Do them a little slower all the time. That's harder, all right? And then eventually try doing a, a full pull-up. So the negatives really, really work well. Get out of my face. <laughs> um, Push-ups. You do the same concept with a push-up. So, start in a fully extended push-up position, and then lower yourself down slowly. Okay, nice wide grip, wide stance. Lower yourself all the way to the bottom, and then get back on your knees. Get up to a push-up position again. Lower yourself slowly. Those are called negatives. Do negatives. All right. If you do those enough. And, and again, if you do them slower, I'm going to talk about that in a second, you'll find that it's harder and you'll build more strength. And in, in no time at all, you'll be able to do the positives as well. Okay? And for push-ups, once you do the negatives enough, then go to your knees and start doing ones with your knees and whatever. Okay? Just work on that. Maybe at first you won't be able to do the full range of motion, which is really important. But just do a partial range if that's all you can do for starters. And then get it longer and longer and longer. That's how you work your way through weaknesses, work your way through issues that you have to be able to get to being, to doing the full range of motion, the full exercise. Okay, let's talk about pacing because I always talk about kind of doing the, the typical standard pacing is your contraction phase, 1001, 1002, your relaxation phase, 1001, 1002, 1003. All right? So that's that's typical. There's some, sometimes, and if you've been doing a good workout for a month, and you're, you know, you're feeling pretty darn good, you gotta, you gotta mix your, you gotta surprise your body, okay? Because your body will accommodate. And what was, that's why long distance running is really, you know, it's, or on a treadmill or whatever for a long time. Your body accommodates to certain stresses, and. And it has to work less hard. So you're not getting gains. You'll actually start going backwards. So you want to shock your body on a regular basis. Good old Arnold Schwarzenegger came out with this, I don't know, back in the late 60s, early 70s, when he was like top of the top of the heap. He kept on saying about shocking your body. Mix it up. So one way you can mix it up is the pacing. So there's a... Um, Let's go to the opposite extreme and go talk about super slows. Super slows, you're going to, whether you're using weights or body weight, you're going to find you're going to have to do about half the, pardon me, half the weight and half the number of reps you could normally do because it's hard and it's going to mess your body up and it's good. All right. So let's just take your, your standard push up, for example. So instead of doing 1001, okay, you're going to do push ups. Instead of doing 1,001, 1,002, and then 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, what you're going to do is you're going to count to probably 12. You're going to do a super slow, the full range, 
everything is super slow. So you're going to go up really, really, really slow. I'm not exaggerating. This slow. And then you're going to go down. Again, I'm not exaggerating. This slow. All the way down. You do that for everything, whether it's it's uh, you're doing overhead uh, tricep extensions, slow, 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 super slow, and all the way down, super slow. Every exercise you can do is super slow. So do do a whole routine. Do it for do your through all your different muscle groups. Do it two or three times. Okay, so you you go for a few weeks doing super slows. What happens is that, first off, you're doing something very different for your body, and it hasn't accommodated to it yet, and that's good. The other thing is that as you're doing each movement, your body is focusing on, on every angle and every part of your muscle group and every all your supporting tissues. It, the focus is intense at each stage of that entire movement. It's amazing. And, and, uh, and you build up lactic acid, and that's why you probably can't do as many of them. But you can, but still, super slows are excellent. So super slows you can do. Um, what I like doing sometimes is mixing super slows with real fast. Don't do it with weights. It's too easy to injure yourself with weights. But with body weight, you can do it. So let's take the classic push-up again. So you do four super slows in a row. Four in a row. Super slow. Then four fats. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? Then four super slows again. Then four fats. Alternate. Until it, you drop. You can't do anymore. You can do the same thing with pull-ups. Alright? So anything with body weight. I hesitate to do it with most weights. Um, you can do it with um, bent rowing. Okay? But you got to be careful. You don't want to jerk the weight. You can injure your muscles. And i probably stay away from anything to do with free weights. Alright? Body weight, good to mix them, mix them up. Um, that's all I want to say about pacing, but shock your body and remember, 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 you are going to improve. You're going to get stronger, fitter, leaner, tougher, younger. You're going to be better than you ever were. All right? Don't give up. Keep at it. There's ways around everything. You have an incredible week. This is a Monday for me, so you have an awesome, awesome week. Okay, let's go.